Hi guys, well today I um, have to do a voiceover because there has been a lot of uh, roadworks outside in front of my house in the street and it's just a bit unpleasant so I couldn't really record with the um, ambient um, <laughs> atmosphere so you're gonna have my voice just um, with you for now <laughs> um, so what I'm doing here is that I'm just trying to loosen up and spreading um, acrylic paint in different colors onto my paper. I didn't even put any gesso on my pages this time. I didn't feel it was necessary and um, it's kind of bulking up my pages in my Moleskine art journal so I try not to gesso the pages if I can help it. And I know that I'm not going to do anything too thick or um, too wet so that should be alright. So here I am blending in some orange, magenta, turquoise and purple and later on a little bit of yellow um, if you do love those colors as I do I have put a link uh, below uh, to my blog post where I'll put all the supplies that I've used so far in case you wanted to get the same colors or the same brands so there'll be a link below and I'll also put it at the end of the video for now I'll just keep going spreading my colors and just having a blast really it's just so much fun feeling like a two-year-old or maybe three I don't know what time do you start painting is there any age restriction I don't think so anyway I still feel like a kid inside so that's why my paintings are just um, colorful and still a bit childish I think just drying the pages for now and then I'm using a little piece of um, kitchen sponge, just a, a little square of it and just dip it in my paint just to create a, a bit of texture and let me add the colors gradually so I really love using this technique. I'm now using a pearlescent acrylic paint, it's a liquid acrylic, a little bit like ink almost, that is very liquid and that I can add here and there on my pages, it adds a little subtle shine and I really love those iridescent colours, I'm using a, a bit of a magenta, a blue and also a yellow, that gives me a really cool effect but it, you can't really see it because it's very subtle. using my finger to spread it that allows me to control how much I want and where and it's quite translucent so I'm not worried about losing any of the colors I have below Go, 
though it's a little close up even though it's a bit hard to see. <laughs> Next, you know me, I love adding um, glittery things and shiny things, so I'm using my silver ink pad to add a little bit of texture and detail with a, a small stamp. And I have a few designs um, in that sort of um, little round circle shape of stamp, so I'll, uh, I'll use that just to add a bit of um, interest. I bought these on eBay, so I'm not too sure um, what they're called or where they're from, but there's a, there were a lot of sellers selling those ones, so I'm sure if you uh, were to search for small round stamp or something like that, even paisley or something, you should be able to find that. Here you can see a little bit of the details, it's quite pretty. And I'm going to add a quick spray of uh, matte picture varnish just to protect that ink. Now I've tried to um, use these little cling stamps which don't stick very well anymore. Um, just to add a bit more interest, this time with um, a dark grey ink pad. So I'm just doing without the acrylic block. And this one's just it's just wanting to stick more to the page than the block sometimes so having trouble trying to keep everything together but anyway we'll get there eventually using a larger stamp again to add a bit more interest in the dark gray I just um, loving this texture that it's creating here Really, really cool. And then sharpening a white intense pencil just to create a bit of an outline of where I want to add my design, which is going to be really big um, flower, it's 70s power. I just want it to look like a big flower and also a bit of a sun at the same time. So I'm not going to uh, wet this, um, this ink that I've just applied. It's just really the best tool I had nearby to create a basic outline. I'm applying some gesso around this um, sort of sun, sunny flower, I guess I could call it, just to mask out um, the actual shape. tricky in the middle of the of the book because of the the stitching and, and the fold there but just have to work around it so that's now you can see the actual shape a little bit better Going, filling in those gaps. So originally my plan was to do the this background area in white and leave it like that but um, I, I didn't actually like it that much I didn't think it worked that well so I decided to do to go the opposite way with um, some black acrylic paint instead and I think you'll agree at the end that it just works so much better 
especially because there's a, you know there are a few little black details um, in the original layers so it just it just seems to work better so I'm just going to fill in all those gaps once again Just to make things a little bit neater, I'm using a black Posca pen just to go around all um, the edges of the, those petals and basically the entire outline. It looks a little bit neater now. Now I want to add some details with my trademark um, white dots which I'm going to put all over um, the flower. I'm using a white oil base um, sharpie pen and that's going to create a beautiful um, refined kind of look. A little bit like little beads all the way around. I really love that effect. Finally, I'm adding some little white doodles so the, uh, the background doesn't look too black and too flat, just so extra interest is added here. Um, not thinking about anything in particular, just having fun with some little white doodles and a white gel pen. So, so far I hope that you haven't been bored by my voiceover and um, I hope that you are finding some inspiration from my two pages here. And um, if you create anything from it, definitely send me a picture. I'd love to see what you've what you've made. If you haven't subscribed yet, I'd really like it if you would. And just join a little uh, painting tribe here. I'm hoping to create a, a really fun group um, where we can hopefully share tips with each other and learn and inspire each other.